Uh, what kind of a competitive advantage does uh, Kevin Millar throwing out the first pitch give you tonight? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I Theo left him a text and said that as long as he's throwing it, it's okay. But if anybody was going to catch it, we'd get all rude. I thought that was pretty interesting. <laughs> you know, I, I don't get it. I don't know how. This is another one of those things where he can pull it off. He's a member of the Baltimore Orioles. He's going to be spurring on the Red Sox, and nobody will say a word. He'll probably break down. I don't, I don't get it, but I love it, but I don't get it. It's, it's Millar. Yes, there is only one Kevin Millar, and you even saw him on the national broadcast just minutes before game five the other night. Now Kevin Millar, like Bill Miller last night, is back representing the 2004 championship team. He'll be throwing out the first pitch. Just a little bit ago, he spoke with Don Orsillo. Yep. All right, thanks very much. Kevin, uh, how's it for you to be back here tonight? Does it feel a little bit weird to be back here at Fenway Park uh, under these circumstances? It does. I've never, <clears throat> I've never thrown out a, a first pitch, especially as an active player. Usually it's the retired players or your, your famous movie stars or somebody from another sport. So it's definitely a first, but like I was telling Theo, it's, it was a first when he claimed me off of uh, the Japan waivers, I think. And now we're throwing out a first pitch, a member of another team in the East. But you know what? This is what makes this play special. We're sort of off the charts here a little bit in that regard, but uh, your thoughts on coming back, I mean, you know uh, what it was like in 04 for you guys. These guys have done sort of a similar thing here, down 3-1, to one, not quite as dramatic but still pretty impressive. It really was. I mean, like I said the other day to the nation, I mean, you guys had it easy. They were only down 3-1. We were down 0-3 yeah, to three and, in the, and in game four. But uh, it, you know what? It's, it's, a, it's a fun team to watch. Um, and this is what it's about. Game seven, two of the best teams in the American League, just like Wedge said last night. And uh, this is what makes baseball great. This is what makes everybody come out today. And hopefully it's a great game. Last question. What about your boy Trot Nixon? What's he going to think about this? Dude, he's been killing me. And I told Trot, man, I, I, listen, you got, I got Chris Gomez over there. I got Trot Nixon. I've got eight or nine over here. This is a tough game for me. I'm telling you, I feel like a parent. You know, who do you pull for, <laughs> mom or dad? And I mean, you got two sons, but I'm pulling for a great game, and, and we'll let baseball take care of itself. All right. Great to see you. All right, Donnie. Thank you. Send it back to you guys. Thank you. How do they feel about this in Baltimore? Uh, How do they feel about it in Cleveland? I mean, you talk about uh, Trot Nixon. He's got to face these Indians next year. That's what I'm thinking, man. Here's a guy that's still in the game of baseball. Now, we all know that he's part of a special team, but to come back and throw out the first pitch <laughs> when you are playing against them in your division and also have to face the Cleveland Indians next year, what are they thinking on the other side? But only only Millar could pull this off. And we were told that maybe Pedro was supposed to be back a couple of days ago, right. but didn't get permission from the Mets to do it. I'd have loved to see Pedro back oh, here doing it. Oh, it would have been great, you know. But leave it to Millar to figure a way to get here and throw out a first He's pitch. He's one in a million, Jim. One in two million. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a good thing. There's only, what do they say in the commercials? There's only one October. There's only one Kevin Millar. Red